good morning friends today i am going to teach new topic that is chemical machining chemical machining is a well known non traditional machining process it is controlled chemical dissolution of the machined work piece material by contact with a strong acid or alkaline chemical reagent a special coating uh, called mask and protect uh yeah, which covers the area of metal which is not to be removed the process is used to the process is used to produce pockets and controls and uh, to make uh, uh, to remove the material from the parts having a high strength to weight ratio uh, this chemical machining process may be the oldest non traditional machining method which is used to shape copper with citric acid in the ancient egypt in uh, 2300 bc there are several factors contributing to the popularity of chemical machining process as follows first is the chemical machining process is mature and well established it is simple to implement there is no additional cleaning step needed in this chemical machining and this chemical machining is cheaper machining but actually the chemical machining process include include those wherein material removal is accomplished by the chemical reaction sometimes assisted by electrical or thermal energy applications this group include chemical milling proto chemical uh, proto chemical machining and ther thermochemical machining uh, this chemical machining process are extensively employed for uh, for producing geometrical complex and precision parts from the engineering also materials in industries as diverse as uh, aerospace electronic and automotive manufacturing purpose also we can use electro uh, on uh, this chemical machining process now let us move for the process of this chemical machining now as i have shown in schematic so here i have given the schematic illustration in this diagram you can see and you uh, you have to note down that uh, here no forces or machine tool are involved in this process there are different stages in producing a uh, pro profile cavity by this chemical machining Okay, uh, and there may be the undercut. So let us move for the different steps involved in this process. Now, first step in this chemical machining is the preparation or pre uh, preparing. That means the you have to clean the workpiece. Okay, with the help of the uh, water or, or other acid. Then you have to go for the masking. That means the application of chemical resistant. material that is epsilative uh, etching is desired then dipping or spraying of exposure uh, to the or exposure to the etching that is etching process and then you have to remove the mask that is a stripping remaining mask and you have to go for the cleaning and then you have to go for the inspection and you can go for the post processing so these are the in short different steps now we'll discuss in detail all the steps now first step is the work piece preparation the work piece prep, uh, material has to be cleaned in the beginning of chemical machining process then the cleaning operation is on out to remove the oil grease dust rust or any substance from the surface of material a good cleaning process produces a good adhesion of the masking material and there are two cleaning methods first is mechanical and second is chemical the most widely used cleaning process is the chemical method due to the less damages occurred during uh, comparing to the mechanical one and ultrasonic cleaning machine is applied with using special cleaning solution and heating is beneficial during the cleaning process then second step is the masking So we have to use the mask and mask and means what? Which uh, protects the surface from the etching. So this uh, this is the next step 
of uh, coating clean the work piece material with masking material and the selected uh, masking uh, material should be readily stri stripable, stripable mask and which is uh, chemically impregnable and adherent enough to the stand chemical abrasion during the etching process and next is the scrubbing this step is guided by the template to expose the areas that receive chemical masking process and the selection of the mask it is depend on the size of the workpiece material the number of parts to be produced and the desired detail geometry the niching this step is the most important stage uh, to produce the required component from the sheet material and this stage is carried out by immerse type etching machine and the workpiece is immersed into the selected etchant and the uncovered areas were masked. This process is uh, generally carried out in elevated temperature which are dependent dependent on the etched material and then the etched workpiece is rinsed, rinsed to clean etchant from machine surface. Then cleaning. So this is final step to remove the masking material from the etchant each other part the inspection of the dimension uh, is uh, happened here and then surface quality are completed before uh, packing the finished product so these are the steps now we'll have to go for next uh, point that is a mask card masking material which is called mask card is used to protect workpiece from the chemical agent polymer or rubber based material are generally used for masking procedure the selected masking material uh, should have the following property that is a uh, first is uh, tough enough to withstand handling then well adding adhering uh, to the workpiece surface it should be uh, easily scrubbing scrub then inner to chemical reagent used able to withstand the heat used to do in chemical machining easy and inexpensive removal after cleaning uh, chemical machining etching then multiple masking coatings are used to provide higher etchant resistance and long exposure uh, time is needed when a thicker and rougher deep or spray coating are used various masking application methods can be used such as deep brush spray uh, spray and electro coating as well as adhesive tips so the, this is about the masking now let us move for the each end. each end are the most uh, influential factor in the chemical machining of any material. Various each ends are available due to the uh, different workpiece material. The best possible each end should have the following properties. First is the higher each rate, then good surface quality, minimum undercut, compatibility with common uh, used, commonly used mask, then high dissolved material capacity, economic uh, regeneration uh, easy control of the process personal safety uh, maintenance so normally there are uh, different agents available in the market depending on the type of work material we are using the uh, agent so ferric chloride apcl3 is the most widely used agent in chemical machining it is mainly used for itching no uh, itching iron based alloys as well as copper and it's alloy aluminum etc then cupric uh, chloride CuCl2 is generally applied for copper and copper based alloys in electronic industry because various re regeneration systems are available for the waste agent. Alkaline agent are introduced to uh, fabrication of electronic components such as pr PCB printed circuit board. So, this is about the agent. Then, let us uh, highlight some advantages of chemical mustang easy weight redu uh, reduction, no effect of workpiece material properties such as hardness simultaneous material removal operation no burr formation no trace introduced during the uh, process on the workpiece uh, the low capital capital cost of equipment requirement of less skilled worker low tooling cost the good surface finish will give during the and using decorative part production low scrap rate is then disadvantages difficult to get sharp corner difficult to chemically machine thick material limit is dependent on workpiece 
material but the thickness should be around I mean, uh, maximum 10 mm scrubbing accuracy is very limited uh, which causes less dimensional accuracy each ends are very dangerous for work and uh, each end disposal are also very expensive let us uh, highlight some application so this chemical machining process is used for the printed uh, for the uh, manufacture of PCB printed circuit board then for the semiconductor fabrication industry also we are using this uh, technique then aerospace industry we uh, also use this uh, to remove the shallow layers of metal from the large aircraft components again for missile skin panel and extruded part of, from airframes then itching is uh, used widely to manufacture integrated circuits and micro -electro, uh, electromechanical system in addition to the uh, standard uh, liquid based technique the semiconductor industry commonly uses plasma itching so these are the applications of chemical machining okay so this is about the today's lecture thank you